Yesterday, if you recall, we also addressed the issue pertaining to the public transport sector. We reminded those operating in this sector to adhere to the directive we gave on March 20th, 2020. It has come to our attention that several public sector transport operators have now resorted to increased fares as a result of this directive. I want to make an appeal to those in the Matato industry and others in the transport sector not to increase fares for our commuters. By so doing, it will be counterproductive as we continue to fight this virus in our country. You will remember that I had said from the beginning that every sector is going to take a financial hit in this crisis and to expect that one sector is going to punish everybody else for them to maintain a scenario where they are earning as much as they could is immoral and unfair. And then therefore, we are appealing to the Matato sector to kindly, kindly look at the situation, understand it, understand that the commuters they are carrying are not in the same position they were in prior to this. Some of them are not earning any money at the moment and to appeal for their reasoning. As we indicated yesterday, we have suspended all flights effective midnight 25th March 2020 international flights as one of the key measures to prevent importation of additional cases in the country. Let me reiterate that all passengers coming into the country between now and that day, Wednesday midnight, must undergo mandatory quarantine either A, at their own expense in hotels, in government approved hotels, or in designated government facilities.